Mox by John Moxley, also known as Jonathan Good, is a raw and unfiltered autobiography that provides an intimate look into the life and career of the professional wrestler known as Dean Ambrose during his time with WWE and John Moxley post WWE. The memoir navigates through his rough childhood, his love for wrestling, and his arduous journey to stardom, shedding light on the trials and tribulations he endured along the way. John Moxley's story begins in Cincinnati, Ohio, where he was raised in a less than ideal environment fraught with poverty and frequent encounters with danger and crime. Despite the chaos, Moxley found solace in professional wrestling, which became a refuge from his troubled life. He would scrape money together to attend local wrestling events, finding inspiration and purpose amid the raucous rings and the colorful personas of wrestlers. Moxley's commitment to becoming a wrestler saw him start his training while still a teenager, working small-time gigs on the independent circuit. His dedication to the craft was apparent as he endured low-pay and high-risk matches, building a reputation for his fearless style and unpredictable character. He showcased an innate ability to connect with the audience, which caught the attention of larger promotions, and eventually led to his signing with WWE. Once in the WWE, John Moxley was rebranded as Dean Ambrose. While this period marked the beginning of his ascent to global stardom, it was not without setbacks and frustrations. The WWE's tightly controlled environment and heavily scripted nature stifled Moxley's creativity and restrained the freedom he previously enjoyed on the indie circuit. Nonetheless, his talent could not be overshadowed, as he became a key member of The Shield, a dominant wrestling group that also featured Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. In WWE, Ambrose achieved significant success, capturing various championships and engaging in feuds with high-profile wrestlers. Despite the accolades, Moxley was increasingly disillusioned with the entertainment-focused direction of the company, the politics backstage, and the creative limitations imposed upon his character. His authenticity and passion for the sport were at odds with the corporate interests and merchandise-driven initiatives of the WWE operation, which led to mounting frustration and a sense of suffocation. As Moxley details his time in the WWE, he opens up about his personal life, including his marriage to Renee Paquette, known on screen as Renee Young. He reflects on balancing the demands of wrestling with personal relationships and the struggle to maintain one's own identity in an industry that often demands the blurring of real life and scripted personas. Moxley's decision to part ways with WWE is portrayed as a rebirth. He talks about the anticipation and anxiety of leaving the security of a corporate giant for the uncertainty of the independent arena. However, his love for pure wrestling and the desire to express himself without constraints ultimately fueled his departure. Upon leaving WWE, Moxley reclaimed his identity as John Moxley and made a shocking debut in All Elite Wrestling, AEW, a new promotion that offered him the creative freedom he longed for. The switch re-energized his career as he pursued a more brutal and unscripted style that echoed his early days in the independent scene. In AEW, Moxley quickly rose to prominence, establishing himself as a leading figure and capturing the AEW World Championship. His matches were characterized by their intensity and a return to the gritty, violent storytelling that he excelled at, elements largely absent during his final years in WWE. He discusses the joy and rejuvenation he has found in AEW, wrestling under terms that allow him to thrive both creatively and personally. Throughout the book, Moxley doesn't shy away from discussing the mental and physical toll wrestling takes on those who practice it. He delves into the injuries, the pain, and the often unspoken challenges related to mental health that many wrestlers confront. His candid depiction of the behind-the-scenes reality of professional wrestling presents a stark contrast to the glitz and glamour typically displayed in the ring. Mox serves as an indictment of the wrestling industry's darker sides, yet it is equally a narrative of personal resilience and authenticity. Moxley's story is one of a man who fought to remain true to himself in the face of corporatism and control, and who emerged on the other side with his spirit intact. More than simply a wrestling memoir, Mox is a testament to the power of individuality, the pursuit of passion, and the indomitable spirit of someone who refuses to be anything but themselves, no matter the stage upon which they stand. 
You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.